Okay, so this is what we've ended up with. Um, it's got... It's not quite symmetrical, but it's close. And all the geometry... Okay, so this is what we've ended up with. We have uh, our totally enclosed mesh. Uh, Retopo's done. And... Um, it's ready to start laying down some UVs. So, as I said before, with this we have a UV room within 3D coat, but re the retopo area has its own area for doing UVs, um, and it's really quick and simple for getting UVs down, and probably a lot quicker actually than using any kind of 3D program like Max or whatever to do it. So, we'll use this as a base for the process for baking or for getting UVs done. So um, if we go to UV area then so if we look at the mesh basically up in the right hand corner up here in UV preview you can see what the UVs look like at the minute which is a bit of a mess but that's mainly because they're all joined together. So what we need to do is we need to actually start splitting the surfaces apart and then what it will do is it will flatten as it goes along. So we have three main tools for doing that. Uh, we can mark the seams, so that basically means we can click individual edges and it will start to split along those edges. How easy it is to see that. Um, we can select edge loops, so that will basically um, grab contiguous loops like that and if you select them then it will select that whole edge and then in fact I'll tell you what, let's switch this off so we can actually see some that stuff a bit better and then the other one is the UV path and this one's quite useful for basically um, so you start where you want the path to start so say here click here and then you move along and what it does is it tries to find the best path to get there so it probably takes a bit of trial and error um, but can be quite useful although I've just about picked the worst place to start that so if we go to here it'll follow the path round and then as soon as you want to close the path or select it hit enter and it will create that Anyway, what we basically need to do is we need to go along and keep selecting it. Now, if we've got this, we can just keep going with this. Um, it could be a bit hit and miss, miss with how it finds the edges. Um, if we want to start from a completely different place, um, we can do that too. There you go. And get to there. And then when we hit enter, what we've done is we've basically separated this part and now it's given us that in a different colour to let us know that it's a separate piece. We can't preview that for some reason in the UV path tool. If we go back to mark seams, if we just hover over it, you can see how it's been flattened out up in this top corner here. And then you can see how the rest of it's done. So basically what we're doing is we're going through this process of cutting the pieces out that we want to be the UV islands and um, it will flatten them out as they go along and then what we can do is once we've got them where we want we can um, unwrap it and pack it. Uh, so we can do this by either just going around and doing the mark seams you know, we're doing this, we're going around and picking stuff Uh, if you hold on the mark seams, if you hold shift down, it'll basically turn it into an edge loop or it'll go as far as it can to be in an edge loop. So, in this case, it probably makes more sense to do that. So, now we've got in three pieces this one, this one, and this one. So, all I'm going to do now is go around and just select each of these pieces. I want to become. Oh, also, if you so in the case of this, say this has gone too far. If we want to undo what this, um, if we just 
hold shift and click it so you hold control click it you can deselect the edge and um, so let's grab that and grab that on that end and then that will unwrap that and so now we just need to really think about how we want to what we want to separate these islands out into um, and I'll go around and do the rest of that so you can see it okay so we're just back in this room um, and what I've done is I've split all of these so that we've got then in different islands you can see them as I select over them um, and they are flattened out um, and because we're going to use a baking process it doesn't really matter too much where these splits are um, because it's all going to come back together and be fine hopefully um, but to organize these so if I select off here I've got this actually all packed out and organized and the way I've done that is basically I've gone to uh, the down here down to unwrap so once you've got a few of these things selected if you want to see what they look like unwrapped out into UV space um, you just hit unwrap and it will give you something like this then if you want to have a go at trying to actually pack them although this is not really that relevant because we're going to actually repack all this stuff when we get it back into max anyway with some extra elements that we've got um, but you can if you're happy with what you've got here and what I've got packing it you can basically um, pack the UVs here um, it says so if you're not happy with that you can hit control and pack I'll try and pack them a different way um, you can also pack UV islands without rotation and flipping so they'll only be scaled and moved um, for better packing you can do that because you can actually go in and edit these you can select these and actually scale them manually yourself and um, so say we didn't want this piece to be as um, prominent because it's the floor um, it's on the floor so you won't see it then we could we could actually scale that down and make it smaller um, so but to be honest for what I'm going to do it for I don't really need to do any of that because I'm going to do I'm going to finish this uh, task off in uh, max it was just to show you that you can do it there there, there are lots of options for you um, but once you're happy with all of that and you're done all I've done to make this bigger is I've just actually pulled this UV preview across and you can scale in and out using the right mouse button um, but once I've done everything I want to do with it then essentially it's ready to be sent out so um, so I'm going to do that now and the way I'll do that is uh, I would go into uh, Retopo and export and it's only going to export the Retopo uh, mesh and I'm just going to go to uh, we have them with an FBX play chest FBX will be fine um, pop tap score UV save and then I'll be able to open this up in Mac okay so we're in max i'm just going to import this in so you can see it import and we're going to go from retopo low chest retop underscore uv fbx and there you go here it is oh that's glory so it doesn't look the nicest piece of geometry ever because essentially it's made to fit a particular purpose but once it's got some 
geometry on it. Um, uh, once it's got a bake on it, it'll be fine. So the next thing we need to do is go and sort that stuff out.